too bearish of me to talk about grinding to a halt? Well, uh, it's, it's, not, uh, it's a problem we've seen in the, in the third quarter, and that is a problem nearly worldwide uh, regarding the fact that we had political risks emanating from the United States, as well as uh, the Berlusconi number two uh, dilemma. In that respect, yes, we had uh, uh, headwinds, uh, but I'm quite uh, confident that the uh, structures we are seeing in the growth patterns is not too bad. We see the Netherlands pulling out of re the recession. We are seeing that Greece has done slightly better. We are uh, Italy surprised. And on the other hand, what we figure out from these numbers also is the fact that uh, France, uh, in particular, lacking um, uh, reforms, is trading, the whole, uh, is trading in behind. Well, I, I'm glad you, you pick up on France. We had this OECD report on competitiveness uh, in France yesterday, and that seemed pretty damning. I mean, you put a lot of this down to, po to political risk. Uh, clearly, countries like France need to get their, their acts in order, right? Indeed, yes. France is going to be the topic for the next year. France refrains from uh, labor market reforms, which is uh, one big issue. France has performed on structural deficits. Uh, they uh, diminish structural deficits in their household by 2.5%. But the main thing is, in order to get their economy work, that they work on the uh, labor market reform and on the efficiency of the administration. And there, uh, France remains rather stubborn up to the moment. Uh, what are your calls for, uh, for 2014 now? I know, uh, I, I believe your, your global call is, is more bullish than the IMS. Indeed, th that is true. What we've seen since March of last year is that political risks have uh, dampened the uh, worldwide uh, dynamic uh, of growth. And in that respect, uh, from my point of view, we have an undersaturation in the capital investment cycle as well as in the inventory cycle. We've had that back in 2008-9 towards 2010-11 where we had a big surprise on the, uh, on the GDP again uh, then with very high growth patterns. And I see a very similar pattern for the next year. Um, the situation in the Eurozone is under check. The question of, of uh, disintegration is no longer mm -hmm. on the agenda in my eyes. Uh, we've sorted out Syria, we've sorted out Iran, and the U.S. Uh, debacle on the household will not be repeated in the form we've seen it this year in the autumn. In that respect, the, the, the headwinds from political risks are diminished, and I see a more pronounced upswing global growth at at least 4%, in Germany at least 2%, and in the Eurozone at 1.5%.